Hey guys, what's up? Today we have a little video. Uh, we're gonna compare the Dead Air Sandman K and the Dead Air Sandman S front caps, right? We got 30 cal front caps, we got 556 flash hider front caps, and we got the e-brake with 30 cal end cap. We're gonna put all those on these guns, on these guns, on these suppressors, fire them from an 11 half inch um, AR, and see what happens. Let's get into it. Sandman K, 30 cal end cap. Sam and K556 in cap. Sam and K E brake 30 cal in cap. Five five six in cap. E brake thirty cal in cap. All right, guys, so there you go. That was a little interesting. Um, I'll have to go back and actually look at the footage and everything. But obviously, the Sandman K is a short can. This guy's not that big. He's pretty short, and so he's going to be a lot more sparky. We were shooting this thing on my 11 and a half inch disser. So my AR that I put together, um, or that I build, whatever. Um, but that's an 11 and a half inch gun. It does have a bootleg bolt carrier group in it, but I dialed it to the unsuppressed settings, so just wide open. Um, not to try not to give the suppressors an advantage to just show what the suppressors are going to do all right that was my thinking behind it i'm not sure if it worked or not i know from my perspective shooting this i had ear pro on um but i can tell you the same ak is louder that's no question about that that's like saying i compared two cars right uh bugatti or whatever those super fast cool cars are and a honda civic and the Honda was slower. Well, we know that. We know that. We know that. That's not that's not the thing. So the same AK is gonna be louder. He's a shorter can, but he brings this thing way down from being an un unsuppressed. This guy's shorter. So he's a little bit lighter. He's a little bit less weight on the end of your gun, all this stuff. So there's pros and cons to it, but that's not what we're really talking about. But I think it shows that that extra like, you put these things up against each other, um, it shows that that extra little bit of volume really makes a difference. I mean, Sandman K, Sandman S, it really makes a difference, that extra little length. And honestly, adding an e-brake to the Sandman K does help with the concussion, the noise and everything, but it's still flashy. It's still flashy. It's a little can. Now, if I put this on a larger, a longer barrel, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do a lot better because that powder has already burned up all those different kind of things, a lot of it. Um, it's going to be better. It's not going to be like the quietest thing in the world. Obviously, it's not what it's meant or made to be. Sam and S is still quieter. And I was surprised. I mean, the Sam and S can do a phenomenal job. That little extra bit, that's all it is. An extra couple baffles in there. A little extra length. It is a it's a beast of a can. They're, they're both really, really good at what they're supposed to do. But somebody had asked about uh, end cap comparisons and stuff. And I think on every one, I saw flash uh, on the Sam and K. Even with the with 30 cal, regular end cap, the 5.56 five, flash hider end cap. Um, and the e-brake, they all it all had flash, right? The fi from my perspective, the 556 five, flash hider did the best on the Sandman K, bringing it down. There's still sparks, I could still see flash and everything. But to be quite honest, I don't remember from the shooter perspective actually seeing any flash out of any end cap on the Sandman S. So that might be something to consider. I've never done night vision stuff really. I mean, I've done some a little bit here and there and things. Um, but not enough to really have a lot of experience with it. But I can definitely see, even from an un-night vision setting, this is early-ish morning, sun's kind of starting to come out, so it's a little, I mean, you could definitely tell. I just why I want to do this video now. You could definitely see the flash. But I could definitely assume or understand that under, under night vision, from what little I've done, 
that Sandman S is going to be a lot better than that K because that K is still, it's still got a lot of sparkles, sparkles. <laughs> it's got a lot of flash to it. Anyway, that's, that's, that's all this video is just a comparison there. So for those that want to know, that's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like out of an 11 and a half inch gun shooting 223 Wolf, right? Old, old stuff that I've had for forever. 223, 55 grain Wolf. Nothing special um, out of those end caps. So there you go. So whoever asked that question, I forgot who you are. I'll try to give you credit if I can. Post it somewhere. If not, then I couldn't find your comment. Uh, but thank you for asking that awesome, awesome question. I hope this helps somebody out understand some of the differences and what those flash hider or end caps can do. Front caps. Front caps can do. That's it. All right. So that's it. I'm going to shut up and be done. Yo, you guys be good to be safe. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, and everything. And hopefully, catch you guys in the next video. See ya.